Hey, I'm Evil Tutin, and you are watching Transarctica 2 2. As you can see, I'm on my way to Rum to get the drill, which is something that you probably wouldn't have to do if you already knew all of this. Oh no, you. Well, I don't know. Mm, it's hard to tell. Because the thing is that everything we're doing right now are steps that you only have to do if you don't have the necessary information and if you need to figure it out because let's be honest the only thing you have to do to win the game is blow up the old hidden power plant and then drive into the Himalaya uh, into the Himalayas defeat the Minotaurus and that's it oh and of course go to Omsk and get the additional uh, steam boiler but those are the only three thing three things you have to do getting the drill from rum and then getting the key to oslo from all of that is just it's part of the story so i'm doing it but just so you know um in order to beat the game really all you have to do is blow up the hidden power plant get the steam boiler from omsk and then uh drive into the himalaya and then you're done so let's go to rum and let's get ourselves a drill for 800 remember uh keep in mind that you need to bring some money and uh then there we go and your drill in order to work has to be either the first car which means you have to put it in front of the transarctica don't mind that that's the harpoon I prepared that for later or it has to be the last car for some reason that also works so yeah make sure that your drill is either in first or last position before you drive down to the mountain paradise the hidden mountain paradise the resolution should be better now. In part 2, uh, the image was centered and it had black bars uh, at the sides. This should be fixed now. Um, but if not, I have to think of another trick. But it should, you know, I've, I've reconfigured everything. Uh, it should work out fine. So now that you have the drill, what you want to do is drive all the way down here to this little mountain. South of... Uh, Inshallah, which is pretty much this is where you started, right? And this is where you have to go as your first order of the day. So let's do just that. Let's put some coal into our engine because this is a long drive. Yeah, we are good. I uh, visited Leeds station, which it doesn't, the name doesn't get displayed, but when you drive in, it says Leeds. I mean, London is right there, so. It's probably accurate and I uh, rearranged all of my wagons you know put the harpoon in front I have my cannon here destroyed tenders um, normally the only thing you can do with uh, completely destroyed wagons is to scrap them at at uh, at the repair shop but tenders for some reason um, you can't destroy tenders and the game doesn't, even if the wagon is destroyed, the game still registers it as a tender. So the game doesn't let you uh, get rid of it. So what I'm doing is I put it between the boudoir and the headquarter wagon uh, in order to use it in train fights. And you'll see, because the thing is, uh, your soldiers obviously can uh, can put TNT on wagons and you, you wouldn't put TNT on your own wagons however if you have a wagon that is already completely destroyed and if enemy soldiers are on your train what you can do is lure them uh, onto these already destroyed wagons and then blow them up uh, using TNT so that's oh I think these are traders could it be mine of lignite uh, but see they, they have people on top those are not wild mammoths nomads I believe let's see if we can run into them group of nomads yes they sell something that you can't get tribe of nomads um, they sell 
antiques, which it looks like it's just a bunch of old shelves and uh, per furniture, exactly. And we're going to buy that uh, because you get a good price if you sell it in, in other cities, because only the nomads have it. But they don't buy anything from you, so every time you encounter them, you should get the antiques, and then you can just sell it at the next city. I don't know which city offers the best price for antiques. I don't even know if it matters, um, if the prices are different. So we can choose our route, we can drive however we want. I want to choose the one where I have to... Okay, I have to make... If I drive down here, I have to change direction, change direction, change direction, change direction. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I don't like stopping. I try to scout out a route that uh, would allow me to get by without making as many stops, but it doesn't matter. So let's just race through it. And we're low on coal. Pressure, not pre- Oh, look at that. Time for a safe state, because uh, remember, you are constantly threatened by the dreaded coal bug that happens after fights. So I'm just gonna quickly rename that. It's, it's tricky because I have my microphone standing right in front of me, so if I want to type anything on my keyboard, I have to reach around. It's really, if you could see that, it's embarrassing. But anyway, let's call it, uh, oh, I don't know, it doesn't matter, Urga. Because that's what the guy is called that we're going to visit. Really? Well then, okay. So, time for another fight. Let's see what he has. Oh no, what kind of train? Oh, no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, actually. All you have to do is just uh, keep firing. The most dangerous thing is that mammoth on the, on, on the right. We can get rid of those soldiers, just make a few machine gun sweeps. We lost the wagon. No! See, they, they are shooting at the destroyed wagon. Um, but they're also shooting at our headquarters. I think we're losing this one. Um, yeah, I don't really see much hope. That's, yeah, alright, I'll see you after the cut. Okay, guys, and we are back. I just did the fight again. Uh, this time it worked out. We didn't lose anything. And oh, we got one hit on our two hits on our XL merchandise wagon. Well then, what's in it? Old, stayed old, <laughs> but nothing's in it. Okay, so as you can see, the scrap metal wagon already worked out because the cannons had something uh, to fire at the enemy cannons, uh, something to keep them busy. Wait, did we lose lignite? Why? Did we lose lignite, or did it, or did I just spe- Oh, I didn't pay attention to my lignite. Guys. I don't know. I don't- But there's nothing I can do. If it's a bug, then there's nothing I can do. I didn't lose a tender. Um, I can't avoid train fights. So, if, um... Oh no, I drove into Rome. But anyway, uh, if you visit Rome... Uh, they will give you the information about Urga, right? He has withdrawn to an Eden behind the mountains. Where the temperatures can even ra reach 10 degrees. It's still too loud. It's too loud. It's so loud. The town music is so loud. I have to... Sorry, I have to turn it down even more. Let's, let's go with... Yeah, the in-game music is really loud. Nothing I can do about it. Alright. So yeah, if this money thing is a bug, then there's nothing I can do about it. And so we just have to live with the fact that sometimes we have... Uh, and now there's a wagon behind our drill. Of course. We just won a train fight. Okay, but you know what? Here's a, here's a station. We can, we can rearrange our wagons. It's all good. But you have to... 
Okay, if we're already down here, then I'm going to Granada and, and I'm going to buy fur. I'm going to make this work for me. We just lost money. We need to make money. Okay, let's check the pressure. Always check the pressure. If it if it gets to the red marker, uh, stop shoveling coal immediately. Because there is a chance that your boiler might blow up, your engine might blow up. Oh, they only have eight new... Well, okay. What do we have in terms of... I'll see if we can sell our antiques, of course. So we can have that. Okay, and now we have a little bit of money again. Um, what are you gonna do about it? Have to accept... The buggery of old games. Yeah, that's the nearest station, alright. I keep saying station, you know what I mean, just a repair thing. Shop. Oh. But I don't see it anymore. I think it went here. Oh, oh and by the way, uh, oh yeah, I didn't touch on that. Uh, there are three skull symbols. Skulls and crossbones. Um, those are actually... We ran into the train. Even though it vanished from our... What is this? What kind of train is that? Oh, I have no... Okay, there's something happening in the front. Okay, guys, stay with me. Stay with me. I'm gonna take care of this fight. I'm gonna take care of this. I don't see what's going on in front. I, I have to take care of these guys. If something happens in front, uh, then we're screwed. Come on, let me... Okay, one cannon down. How many hits do these guys take? Alright, so... I saw something in front happening. Oh, not, not that much actually. One mammoth. Barracks is down now. One more shot. Our machine gun is right here where we need it. Let's stop and let's just keep firing, keep firing. Never stop. They take a lot of hits. Don't be discouraged. I know. I know. It sucks. Just keep firing. Keep firing. It depends on the number of soldiers that are riding the mammoth. Um, Alright, so let's bring out our guys. Let's stop here. Let's make sure that there aren't any more mammoths uh, appearing. Then in front you have a machine gun. Okay, we're done. We won. Fight is over, oh, but as you can see, um, there's a lot of adrenaline happening. No soldiers back here. Good. And now what's gonna happen? Mammoth uh, will unload. It it acts like like an APC, you know, like like a, a personal carrier for troops. And also we have to send our guys over there uh, to take care of those two patrolling the trains. And there's even more. Let's send another troop of soldiers. Or we can blow up one of these wagons, and then we can kill two of those troops. Are you gonna unload? I'm going to drive my machine gun there. It's not doing anything. Oh. Well then. I guess... Oh, there's one more machine gun we have to destroy anyway. Okay, we have enough soldiers. Uh, the troops that are patrolling the enemy trains aren't usually that strong. So we had a group of 30. We still have a group of 30. That's okay. That's weird, but whatever. Not gonna complain. And now... Oh, this is perfect. Oh, look at this. No, no, no. Stay here. Stay here, machine gun. I'm coming for you. Alright, we got this, and now this is what I meant, I can demonstrate it to you, uh, if you have a scrap metal wagon like this one. What you can do, is just put your guy on hold. And, uh, you have to put down the TNT when they are, when, when the guy is on, each, each wagon has like four, four, uh, you need four four steps to get across each wagon, right? And so you need to lay down the TNT when the guy is at the third. And you have to be really precise about it because th this time it didn't work. But there's no need to run away, as I said. They, they can't be that strong, maybe one or two guys. 
But now you but now you know what you have to do. Put down the TNT at the very end of the wagon when the soldiers are at at the third or second. Okay, that's it. Ugh, so much stress. Train battles are hard. Make no mistake about it. We lost six soldiers in total and there's another enemy train coming out of that tunnel. Um, some Transarctica players claim that the enemy trains uh, will take the route that you, you know, they, they will follow uh, the, 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 uh, ugh, the rails if you change them. I don't think that's true because uh, the AI doesn't really care about... Oh, come on, we ran out of code just in front of the thing. Alright, now all we have to do is put the drill in front of our train. We can also repair our damaged wagons, which isn't even expensive. You know, 15 bucks to repair one hit, uh, 30 bucks to repair two hit. It depends on the wagon, of course. If the wagon is really expensive, uh, I think you pay a certain percentage. Okay, there's fur, rails, I, I, we'll have to sort it out later on. But for now, the most important thing is that your drill needs to be either in front or in the last position. And now we have to shovel some more coal, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be enough. Another mine, lignite, that's good, where is it? Okay, I can I, I don't have the time for that. I can't drive around the map. Uh, digging for lignite. You can make money by trading, remember, so that's always... Uh okay, now we have to go up here again. And then we accomplished nothing this whole episode. All we did was drive around. We made it barely to this mountain down here. Oh man, I had... Well, I mean, we reached our goal. I said we're gonna drive to the mountain and that's what we did, so... Now that the drill is in front, you can get through the mountain. And here he is. And he says Shalom for some reason. I am Urga, the ambivalent. I know the history of John Merrick after the disaster of Operation Blind. He set up Project Sun. Oh, I, I pronounced that wrong. Sun was to destroy the thick clouds and thus thaw the eyes. Seeing its power threatened the Viking Union stopped him at the last minute. Merrick, forced into retirement, hid various elements of his work. He left to my ancestors a mysterious key. Alright. So in order to understand what's going on in the world of Transarctica, you have to know that the Viking Union is one of many, many big uh, corporations. You know, they span entire continents, as you can see. And they control... This, this this rail network, they control it completely. And um, the sun has been gone for so long that there are some people who don't even believe that the sun is real, you know, like it's some ancient god or whatever. And those people who believe in the sun and who think that it's gonna come back, which includes your guy. I mean, you never see the face of that guy you play, but uh, you, aren't, you aren't him, you aren't any of those... Uh, you know, you're the commander of this train, but your face is never seen, so anyway. Um, now that we have the key, we can get to... I think we can go to Oslo already, but before we do that, we have to explore the Mammoth Graveyard. So that's what we're gonna do in the next episode, we're going to drive up there. But let's buy more rails. Let's buy more rails, because uh, we, I don't know if we have to... You, you should always bring rails. Um, let's get another 50. Uh, they only have 51. Let's, let's take it all. And we recovered some, uh, that's one, one salt and six. I don't really care about the prices of these various goods like meat and fish or whatever. I only I only know the prices of fur. Um, rockets, I think, or missiles. Uh, you can always sell them at 30. I think uh, all cities buy missiles at 30. So that doesn't really matter. Uh, line cars, we need them. You don't want to sell them. Yeah, and fur, um, we're gonna definitely sell in Amsterdam. Always, always, always sell your fur in Amsterdam. Choo-choo! 
Ah, oh, the sounds are really good actually. But uh, in previous episodes I had some trouble with the sound emulation. So it didn't really work that that well. <laughs> Music is glorious. I love it. Once again, I would like to thank Olysio for sending me um, an, an, a fully installed uh, HDD version. Because now the sound isn't glitching out anymore and we can just enjoy it. Alright, so if you talk to the good people in Bayreuth, which we already did, if you remember, they will tell you that uh, there's this mammoth graveyard in the Carpathian Mountains. Now, you have to know a little bit of geography. The Carpathian Mountains, for those of you who don't know, are in Transylvania, uh, in Romania, which is the region where uh, Dracula, Count Vlad Dracul, supposedly lived. And now you have to look around the map a little bit because you see, okay, this is Istanbul, so this is too far. Um, there's Sebastopol. I mean, the geography isn't really correct anyway uh, on this map. So there's Kiev. And so, I mean, there's Bayreuth, which is in southern Germany. I mean, there's Berlin. It's, once again, it doesn't really match up. Bayreuth is in southern Germany, and so here are mountains, and, and there are rails. So the Carpathian Mountains can only be here on the Transarctica map. And so that's where we're going. And we are out of time, which means I will see you guys next time in the Carpathian Mountains. See you then.